Welcome this evening. We're glad to see you. We have visitors in our audience, and I wonder why you're here. There's nothing special going on. We've tricked you. Just kidding. We are glad that you're here. We are thankful that you've, those that have traveled from a distance, have traveled safely. Uh, I don't know who came the furthest. Jerry came from out, right outside of St. Louis. Anybody come further than that? And so uh, it's where Jerry is right now. And scale. We're glad y'all are here. But uh, my wife's not here, and I'll just explain why, and she'd be upset if I didn't explain why. About Saturday, I think it was, Friday or Saturday, she came a little bit too close to a person that has COVID. And uh, Suze does not have COVID. She's tested twice, and she's negative. And uh, so for that, we're thankful. She has no signs, and for that, we're thankful. And um, we've had to cancel all of our family dues, though, for the weekend. And so that's made us sad. But, you know, I'm thankful for video uh, cameras, video phones. We were able to call our granddaughter last night. We watched her walk four steps, and we, we watched her blow us a kiss goodbye. And so um, it doesn't replace four days of being with her, but it does give us a little little help along the way. So Suze is fine. She just said, she said, I don't know if people want to be around me. I said, they don't want to be around you anyway. And then, I didn't really say that. That's that's not true. I did not say that. Yeah, but I didn't say that. <laughs> but I told her, uh, she said, I, she, I said, well, CDC says since you're vaccinated and all, you can come and you just have to wear a mask. She said, I can't eat the mask. And I said, yes, ma'am. You don't want to hear what I have to say? I listen to you all the time. So. But anyway, so since I have 30 minutes, I could keep on going. But anyway, no. Let's talk about being thankful. There was a grandmother and her grandson walking down the beach one day, and they were having a high old time when all of a sudden a wave came over and took the little boy out. And she looked and looked, and she couldn't find the little boy. She couldn't find her grandson. And she was very upset, and so she called on God, God, oh, please bring him back, please bring him back. If you bring him back, I'll never say anything. I'll never do anything bad. Just bring him back, bring him back. And all of a sudden, a wave came up, and there was a little boy. And she looked. She grabbed him. She made sure he was all right. She hugged him, and while she was hugging him, she said, Lord, he did have a hat, you know. Sometimes it's just hard to be thankful. Yet Paul said in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 20, giving thanks always for all things. God the Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever thought, and I'm sure you have, but have you ever thought about that idea? Giving thanks. Giving thanks is, first of all, the idea of expression or expressing our thanksgiving. In Luke chapter 17, beginning verse 11, Jesus is going back to Jerusalem. And on his way through Samaria, he enters, according to the text, he enters into a certain village. And when he enters into a certain village, there are some ten lepers. Jesus tells them, go their way, go talk to the priest, and everything will be all right. As they are on their way, they realize, and I'm sure they look at themselves, they are healed. They are doing, though, what they've been told by the Lord. They're going to see the priest. Why? So that he can pronounce them clean so that they can basically get out in public again. One comes back. Jesus asked the one, he says, were there not ten? Where are the nine? And he tells him to go away. But this man came back to give thanks. It wouldn't hurt us from time to time to stop and to thank people. And I'm sure you do. But it's just a reminder that when people do something for you, when people help you in a special way, I got a note this week from actually an old college roommate. We keep in contact still. But he sent me a note, and basically it was one of those notes where I'm writing everybody that's touched my lives, and you're on my list. And I knew I was on his list. I just didn't know it was that list. But... It's an expression of thanksgiving. Give thanks. Now notice, go back to Ephesians 5, and Paul says giving thanks always. Always. 
No matter what, always give thanks. Daily, the psalmist says in Psalm 68, daily the Lord loads us with benefits. It's daily that his mercies are, as Jeremiah said in Lamentations 3, new every morning. Daily we are blessed. Daily we have the gift of life. We have the gift of strength. We have the gift of health. But then as we go through life, we have so many things. Giving thanks always. No matter what, we should give thanks. There's another story. Story is told of, of a place in Mexico, tourists are carried by it, and there's a rock, and there's water coming out of it, and on one side there's hot water, and on the other side there's warm water, or it's cold water, duh. Already ruined the story, didn't it? One side there's hot, one side there's cold, and the, the locals go there and they wash their clothes. And so one tourist, as he was being guided by, he was asking what was going on, and the, the tourist guide was telling him, well, you know, there's hot on one side and there's cold, and folks come down here and they wash the clothes. And the tourist said to the tourist guide, said, I am sure that folks are very thankful that they have this. And the tourist guide said, no. He says, they're upset that there's no soap. In everything, give thanks always for all things. All things. Did you catch that? All things. Give thanks for the helpful things in life. You know, happiness, family, friends. Give thanks for the happy things. For forgiveness, for joy, for peace, for re reconciliation and redemption, for the cross. But give thanks also for the hurtful things. Oh, preacher, we don't like to do that. But, you know, who likes, to, who likes to be thankful for the problems? Who likes to be thankful when they're sick? Who likes to be thankful when they're not feeling well? Who likes to be thankful when they have difficulties in their life? When things aren't going well and there's more outcome than there is income and there's a concern about how we're going to pay all the bills. And yet, we should be thankful. Because Paul said, giving thanks always for all things. No matter what. But then he says, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father. God is the fountain from which all blessings flow. God is the source of everything. Every good gift, every perfect gift comes from where? From above. James chapter 1, verse 17. God is the giver. And so we give thanks to God, and we do it, of course, through Jesus Christ, our mediator. In a time of thanksgiving, we need to learn to be thankful. There was a a family, it was actually a mother and three children. They lived on the streets in New York City. Didn't have anything. Lived from day to day, just what they could get. In the wintertime, they had found, actually in the summertime, they had found a door. Somebody was remodeling or something, and somebody had put a door out, and they had hidden that door. And so when wintertime came, they took that door and they set it up so that the wind could be knocked off of them and they would squat down behind that door at night. One evening, the little boy looked at his mom and said, oh, this door is so nice. It keeps the wind off of us. And she said, yes, yes it is. He said, I wonder what people do that are so poor that they don't even have a door. We can look around. We can always see someone that doesn't have what we have. Someone that has more, yes, but... Whatever we have, let us learn to always give thanks for him who's given us all. So this evening, we're going to sing an invitation song. If you need to put your Lord and Savior on in baptism for the remission of your sins, or you need to ask for the prayers of the church, won't you make that known to us while together we stand and sing?